dive right into the world of object-oriented programming, or OOP as it's widely known. Today we tackle a fundamental concept, encapsulation. Picture encapsulation as the idea of bundling up data and the methods that work on that data into one neat package called a class. It's a mechanism that wraps the data, which are the variables, and the code acting on that data. These are our methods, together as a single unit. Think of it as a safety bubble, protecting the data from outside interference and misuse. Imagine a safe deposit box at a bank. It's a perfect analogy to encapsulation in object-oriented programming. Now think of the valuables inside the box as the data. These treasures are precious, confidential, and need to be protected just like data in a program. Now enter the bank teller. The bank teller is like the methods in OOP. They're the only ones who can access the box, much like how methods are the only way to interact with the data in an object. The teller checks your identity, your key, before granting access, ensuring only authorized individuals get to the valuables within. In the same way, methods in OOP act as the gatekeepers, checking the conditions before manipulating the data. This helps prevent unauthorized access, much like our diligent bank teller, and enhances data security. So encapsulation, like our bank teller, only allows access to our data through specified methods, keeping our data secure and intact. So why bother with this encapsulation thing anyway? Well, encapsulation offers numerous benefits. It organizes your code better, reduces system complexity, and enhances data security. By keeping data and methods bundled together, you decrease coupling between objects, making your code more modular and consequently more maintainable. It's like having your personal data bodyguard in the vast world of object-oriented programming, always on guard, ensuring your data safety. Remember, encapsulation is like your personal data bodyguard, always at the ready to protect and serve in the vast landscape of OOP,